What's up you guys, it's Brandy. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm bringing you a new foundation review video. Now if y'all be following me for a minute, y'all know, y'all probably like, this is not new girl. Like we've heard about this, this has been out for months, but y'all know it's new to me, okay? I feel like I'm always someone on here who does reviews and I don't have my ear to the streets. I don't always know what's hot and what's new and what's just coming out or about to be released. And plus I ain't running out to be getting all these products right away, okay? So y'all know if y'all are here watching my video, y'all are here because y'all wanna hear my thoughts, my take on it, okay? No matter how new it is. So that's why we're here. This is new to me. So anyway, if y'all are interested in hearing my thoughts on the new Fenty Beauty Foundation, then just keep on watching. All right, so let's jump right into it. First off, the name of it. It is Fenty Beauty's Ease Drop Blur Smooth Tint Stick Foundation. I absolutely love the packaging of it and the fact that this is recyclable. It's not over the top, it's very fitting for Rihanna. I feel like she keeps a lot of her packaging for her products, skincare, as well as makeup. Very simplistic, not over the top. So I'm good with that, I'm good, okay? That keeps the prices down for us as well. So this is a stick foundation, like I said. I'm gonna read the claims in a minute and tell you how much you get. But the thing that I really love about this is the fact that you are not gonna have any product wasted. That's the thing that turns me away from a lot of stick foundations is the fact that I have to dig in there to get it out. And at, at a certain point, I'm like, you know what? I ain't even got time for it. I'm throwing it away. Let me get a new one. With this one, you are supposed to be able to wind it all the way up and get every last bit out of this tube. So that is no money wasted, okay? So this retails for $35. I got mine from Sephora, but of course you can buy it on Fenty Beauty as well. It seems like an okay range of shades on here, but I feel like it could definitely, definitely be more. But this might be that type of product where you can kind of, make it work for you. It doesn't have to be the exact match for you, but you can get it and blend it out and it will kind of like melt into your skin and end up matching you, you know, easier. So this is a smooth, instant blurring skin tint stick that's so easy you can't F it up. <laughs> The creamy crease proof foundation glides on seamlessly for light coverage that lets skin look like skin. It's supposed to be long wear, light buildable coverage that resists fading and transferring. Okay. Easy to use tint skin, tint stick that you can apply anywhere, anytime. No tools required. So you can use them fingers. I don't know about it, but you can. Has maru maru butter that melts into the skin, helps provide all day hydration quick blur complex that delivers blurred and smooth second skin finish and a lot of other stuff. This is not supposed to oxidize, thank goodness. You get 0.32 ounces of this, which I feel like is pretty comparable to other stick foundations, stick, tin, tint sticks, whatever you wanna call them, y'all. So we about to jump in with this. Um, it says on here that you can blend with your fingers or her full body foundation brush, which I do not have. So on one side, I am gonna try it out with my fingers, and then the other side, I'm gonna use a foundation brush. I'd be so scared to start blending stuff out with my fingers. I don't know what it is, I just don't like using my fingers when I blend out my products. And I do wanna say that I did get skin, like shade matched in Sephora yesterday when I picked this up, cause it was kinda hard. Sephora always recommends shades for me based on like other things that I got. And y'all, the shade they recommended, I have no melanin in it, okay? And I went up in there, rolled up in there, I was like, okay, let me let me pick up number 13 and see what it's, what it's talking about. Y'all, I swatched that on my finger and was like, absolutely not, absolutely not. So I had to go find somebody and I was like, girl, can you help me shade match? I need help. Okay, li listen here, we up here talking and it is melting into the skin. Looking very, very skin-like. It looks so good on the skin, y'all. Oh my goodness, this looks good on the skin. So y'all see, there's nothing on this side. I apply one layer of the uh, tint stick on this side and it looks good. Let's go to the other side. I'm gonna see if with a foundation brush, 
it actually gives a little bit more coverage or or what it looks like with this brush i don't know if it's because the bristles like they're not packed together that it's not giving me as much as it did when i actually use my finger so dare i say it i feel like i actually like the application of it when you use your fingers because i feel like it's warming the product up and getting it to melt right into your skin okay so i zoomed y'all in a little bit closer so y'all can really see how beautiful the skin looks and how it really truly is blurring the skin now it is light coverage so just what they say it ain't gonna cover up everything so i have a dark spot here i have some on my chin that you can still see but it did kind of blur it a little bit let me see if i can just build it up a little bit because it does say that you can build it some we're gonna see so it covers it a little bit more but you're still you're not getting full coverage so that's the thing it's not gonna cover it all the way up fully and i'm okay with that it looks like skin and it, it's supposed to be crease proof so we're gonna see how it does how it plays on my forehead for sure i'm gonna go and finish off the rest of my makeup and then we're gonna see how this does I don't feel like you need to set this because honestly, as I was putting it on and putting a little bit extra layer on, it seems like it was already kind of drying. Like right now, it's a little bit sticky as I'm touching my face, but it feels like it's trying to set. And it doesn't say on the website if you should set this with a powder or anything like that. I want to keep this nice, healthy looking glow to my, to my skin. So I'm not going to put a powder on with it. All right, you guys, I'm back. I'm now finished the rest of my face. And y'all, it's looking very much natural. It's giving my skin, baby, but better, <laughs> okay? Y'all, I already love this so, so much. And I can't get over the fact that there's no creasing on my forehead. It feels like I have nothing on my skin. It gives the natural finish. All I did was put a little bit of blush, which has like a little hint of highlight in it i didn't put much on my face today i did contour around it just to bring some more color but back into it and dimension i'm already feeling like this is going to be something you can really throw into your bag an everyday type of skin tint that you can wear on the go it is very user friendly the fact that it blended so nicely with my fingers is what is selling me on this now it did not dry down to a powder so i don't know how it's going to be in terms of not transferring and the fact that it's supposed to not melt away and things like that we're going to see how that goes because i did not powder over it it's supposed to be something that's very easy to use so i'm doing very minimal additional products to it so we're going to see if that happens or not so anyway our starting time is 11 47 a.m so it will give me a good amount of time to wear this to see how it goes and we can do a full-on wear test of this skin tint all right you guys i'm back it's now the end of the night it's 9 55 p.m so i've had this foundation on for over 10 hours and y'all look at my face it still looks good now we are very very oily but other than that we still have coverage the same amount of foundation or skin tint that i put on earlier today and it still looks really good despite the oil if you are someone with oily skin you definitely want to prep the skin with some type of mattifying primer or something like that if you don't want to be looking like a grease ball i have combo skin and this is what it gave me and i did blot one or two times throughout the day just to like control some of the oils and they kept coming back so for me because this is a skin tint and it looks so skin like I am okay with it operating as my skin would. It was very hot today and I was outside moving around doing things, which would have caused me to naturally sweat and be this glowy also. So I don't have any issues with it. I went back to look at the claims for this foundation and it says it's supposed to be long wearing, check, it's definitely that. Light buildable coverage, we already spoke about that earlier when we applied it. It definitely gives you that light buildable coverage. Resist fading, like I said, it is still everywhere I put it. Now, let's get to this 
non-transferring claim. I believe that it definitely is transferable. I put on my shirt earlier today when I was getting ready to go out and it had some makeup on the collar. Even when I applied this, I was kind of skeptical about the whole claim of it not transferring. So I'm gonna take some tissue as well as a paper towel and just go over some areas that don't have anything else other than just the foundation and show you. Now this area down here, which is not really oily, it doesn't tend to get oily, just normally my T-zone, it's not anything coming off on it, but in the other areas around my nose, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, yeah is definitely coming off slightly. Not a lot, but you can see it. And I'm gonna just blot and see if we can make this like refreshed. Go around and blot those areas that are a bit oily and see if it takes off a lot or not. Okay, and this is how much came off from me blotting all over. I feel like it's a good amount, but it's not a crazy amount where it took it off of my face. I still have the coverage there. It just pretty much took off all of the oiliness that was on my skin. So honestly, that is the only thing, that's the only claim that they gave that actually I don't feel held up to what it says. Also, I do wanna mention too, there is no creasing with this. Y'all know I normally say with almost every foundation, skin tint, tinted moisturizer, no matter what it is, it creases. It settles in my forehead. There is no settling in my forehead at all, y'all. None. None in my smile lines either. So y'all, this, honestly, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Definitely a 10 out of 10 i'm going to be wearing this very very often it felt like i didn't have anything on my skin pretty much all day long that's it you guys i highly highly suggest that you try this out if you have not already if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up show your girl some love if you're not a subscriber click that subscribe button and join the family i have tons more content coming your way and that's pretty much it so i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.